Imagine a scenario where there are two groups of men. In the first group, one can see that they mind their own business and never mind what others say or think about them. They are who they define themselves to be. They have become successful in every area. They are celebrated by others. In the second group, one can see very committed men, even going beyond their abilities. However, they capitalize more on other people's businesses. They made others great and they feel less of themselves. Soon enough, they became angry and hated the first group for no reason other than discovering they could have become like them only if they had put their efforts into their business. Who are these two sets of people? Watch this video to the end and you will discover them. But before that, let me tell you a practical representation of two different male social hierarchies. A story of Jerry, Collins, and Robert. Jerry and Collins were very good friends from high school. Both of them came from humble backgrounds. During their high school days, they used to have a classmate whose name was Robert. Robert was from a comfortable home. He lived in a beautiful environment and had almost everything he needed. Everybody likes Robert because he is a very committed guy. He does everything anyone wants him to do perfectly well. You can almost say Robert is the friend of all. Was it the case that people loved Robert that much? No, there was a secret behind that love. Robert became everybody's choice because of what they got from him. He is always ready to sacrifice anything for anyone, even at the expense of himself. Soon enough, Robert realized that he was lagging in his project, and he felt bad but would never stop sacrificing himself for others. He didn't want them to see him as a bad person. He wanted to please everyone. This was how Robert continued to live. He had made nothing out of his own life. He had labored all these years for others. On the other hand, his two friends, Jerry and Collins, became extremely successful, and the reason was not far-fetched. These two had been known to push themselves beyond their limits for their work. They give themselves to anything they want until it is achieved. They were not loved by others because they hardly had time to help others do anything. They focus on their goals. They go their own way and do things the way they want them done, not the way others approve. They were being tagged the isolated duos. They don't care about what others do or say about them. They define themselves. Now they are successful in following the path they chose. In this story, Jerry and Collins are the Sigma males, and Robert is the Beta male. Also, the first group is the Sigma males, and the second group is the Beta males. Now, let's get back to business. Let's understand the reasons why Beta males hate Sigma males. Why the hatred? What are the causes? Hatred is a permanent feeling of extreme displeasure for one person or more than one person. It is different from anger or disgust because these two can dissolve within a few moments. Hatred is continuous, and the dangerous part is that it exhausts such a fellow of his emotional strength. You spend much of your time meditating on your displeasure towards another person thereby draining your energy in return. Oftentimes, hatred is caused by envy or jealousy. The feelings that an individual has what you should have in your possession. When you feel inferior to the person or you believe they are inferior to you, why should they be better than you? or you feel someone has mistreated you. All of these, with many other factors, make up the feelings of hatred. Who are these beta males, and what did the beta males discover in the sigma males that made them feel hatred towards them? We must understand these two personalities before we can understand the reason for the hatred beta males has for sigma males. The beta male. They are the men with no objections. Because they shy away from confrontation, they agree to virtually everything, even when deep in their hearts they never want it. They are the followers of every rule, and it is very easy to use them to achieve anything and everything you want them to do. They are never going to say no. Beta males can be easily manipulated. They feel guilty about virtually everything they do, so to avoid these feelings, they do everything to please everyone. They don't want to let anybody down by saying no to their request. They look like the good people of the town. They are always over committing themselves to other people's lives. And the worst part of it is that they ended up doing little or nothing for themselves in the end. They don't question authorities, even when there is a need to. Beta males are afraid of getting into trouble with others. However, they end up getting into the trouble they are running from. They feel they need to put in more effort to win the approval of others. They believe that by pleasing everybody, they will have peace with them. But they never knew that they were losing peace with themselves at the cost of pleasing others. They feel weak within themselves and people easily find their weak points and attack them right there, taking advantage of them to achieve their own goals. So, out of their frustrations and seeing others become successful, they kept asking themselves if there was more to life for them or if they were just going to continue that way. They want to become great like others, but they lack the propelling power within them. 
Now, let's look at the traits of Sigma males. They made beta males hate them. Sigma males seem to be the complete opposite of beta males. Who dares give instructions to a Sigma male? Who dares impose anything on him? Even though you desire to do these for a Sigma male, you actually wouldn't find him available for that. He's too busy with his life to have a second left for you, except he plans to share it with you. That's the complete opposite of a beta male, right? Yeah. The Sigma males are mysterious and very difficult to understand, but they're successful men. He is a highly principled man. He set boundaries for what and who came to his life. These are the characteristics that the beta male doesn't possess, so they sometimes become envious of the Sigma male because they can't achieve what the Sigma has achieved. It is obvious now that the beta males hate the Sigma males for their intriguing personalities and achievements because they couldn't achieve them. Now let's look at the personalities of the Sigma male that made him extremely successful and hated by the beta male. Sigma males are self-driven. Sigma males don't get their motivations from outside. They are motivated from within themselves. They are self-motivated. This was what happened to Jerry and Collins. They were driven by their personal goals right from high school to the extent that they had no time for others. One thing about life is that if you are so busy with your life, you have little chance of dwelling on what others think about you. You don't have the time to do such. You are too occupied figuring out your goals and how to accomplish them. But the beta male has no motivation from within. They are motivated by what others say. Not only are they not motivated from within, but beta males don't have time for themselves to set personal goals. They are always on the run for other people. That was the case with Robert. He was always seeking to help others without helping himself. So when he saw Jerry and Collins become successful with their goals, he became angry and hated their successes. They are their own best friends. Either a Sigma male doesn't have any friends at all or he chooses another Sigma male as a friend. They don't walk with the crowd, so they can get their work done without being tied down by associations. And they can take full responsibility for whatever they do. If they have the opportunity to make friends, they make perfect friendships with themselves, a fellow Sigma male. You could see how Jerry and Collins have been good friends since their school days, and they worked together as friends until their goals were accomplished. And they didn't blame others or situations for their mistakes and failures. But Beta would shift the blame to other people. Sigma males invest in themselves. First, Sigma males evolve from the basic male into the typical men they became. For Sigma males, their lifestyle was made through a series of processes. To them, life is in stages, and at every stage, there are different challenges. But they believe that for every challenge, there is a solution. So what they seek out at every stage of life is the solution to every challenge they'll encounter. They invest quality time in themselves. That was the case with Jerry and Collins. They were both from humble backgrounds. By their backgrounds, they were supposed to end up as known entities. But by their definition of themselves, they saw that situation as a challenge to face and overcome. So they were busy with their lives day and night, working out their goals until they achieved them. The beta Mr. Robert never knew that he was to take his personal life seriously. He was busy with other people's lives, neglecting his own. He is not lazy. He just doesn't set a goal for himself. And being too conscious of other people, he neglected his own life to his detriment. In the end, he was angry at the men who pursued their dreams without being people conscious. Women prefer the Sigma male to the beta male. Sigma male is the perfect definition of what a woman wants. Women want guys who are confident, self-reliant, intelligent, purpose-driven, and successful. These are a few of the quality traits of the Sigma males that made them a perfect man, wanted by every woman. But the beta males are very skeptical about everything they do. They are afraid of being rejected by society, so they hardly do anything tangible for themselves. Women don't like this attitude. A woman wants a man who can do things without having to wait for the approval of another man. In the end, a beta male would become jealous of the Sigma, because women were flocking around him, but none came to him. Sigma males are never afraid of any man. Not only are Sigma males not people conscious, but they fear no man as well. They are the lions in the jungle, without fear of other animals. They can launch out toward their goals without fear of being stopped by others. And when their successes war through society, other men bow to the great king of the jungle, though they don't value the appraisal. The beta male will ask themselves, why should they be celebrated and loved by everyone? They would become angry and hate the sigma males the more, but they only become bitter and can do nothing about the success of the lone wolves. Everybody celebrates the sigma male's achievement, but the beta male has nothing to be celebrated for. The successes of sigma males often draw hatred towards them from beta males 
who only work for others and have little or no investment in themselves. They felt used by others, of course, and in the end, they became angry at the successes of other men. Knowing why Sigma males are hated by beta males, I'm sure you would like to know why Sigma male walks alone. Click on the image and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.